<laughs> that's how you catch a ball, right, brother? <laughs> so, yeah, that's from H2O Camper. How many of y'all seen the Highlight Friends each month on the feature on Halo Waypoint? Not many, huh? Yeah, on Halo Waypoint, they feature a uh, highlight like that. It's basically the top 10 plays for matchmaking uh, each month. Puppy, our, we, we call him Puppy because that was his former gamer tag. But Kevin goes through and reviews all those videos, send in there's a proper way to tag it, and uh, you can get your highlights featured in the, on Halo Waypoint in these highlight rows like this. He does a fantastic job, as you saw, so make sure you check that out. Get y'all's uh, highlights for matchmaking on there. Alright, now you clap. Alright, so for us at Grim Paul, it's really been an amazing journey. Um, Grim Paul started almost five years ago, which is really hard for people like myself to believe. Um, especially Caleb here, he was here at the very, very beginning. Um, shotguns, baby. Yeah. yeah. That's right. The door hammers, they were shotguns. Little known fact. Um, so, Caleb, what do you think about where Grim Paul is now compared to where it's been? and how it's just evolved as a sport, as a community, as, as everything for the last five years? Well, it's been kind of a weird ride, because I remember when Bernie was first kind of dicking around in Forge, and the map was literally in Foundry, they emptied it entirely out, and it was like a little wall that like, you just swung your hammer, you'd actually bounce over. And then they had to put teleporters on the other side as the solution. So Grip Ball actually had no wall, really, and no boundaries. And it went from being something that was just kind of for fun and something to do when Foundry came out and kind of grew into a whole community and went from just being something so small to just an awesome, huge community in playlist. Yeah, I think when the Grimpaw playlist launched, it had, what do you say, 10,000? There was more than that in the playlist when it first launched? Yeah, I'm going to reach. Yeah, Halo Rage was about 10,000. Um, the XXP playlist were always really huge in Halo 3 as well. So Grimpaw has definitely expanded way beyond the original eight teams that started to play it. And there are so many things that the community has done. I mean, you saw the you saw the brony or the yeah the grip ball pony, right? Um, we have some <laughs> exactly. Uh, we have some uh, individual known community, uh, Halo Seven Jet and Alex the Knight. They're actually from Sweden. I think they're from Sweden, somewhere over there. Um, and they actually make that. They they draw and they make the ponies. They also make uh, Lego stop image videos of grip ball as well. And, there's just so much the community has done with, with what we've been given. And I know, Tex, you've been a commissioner for the leagues and you've been playing for a really long time. What's kind of your impression of, you know, where Halo was, or where Grim Ball was, and kind of where you see it going? It used to, like, the feel of it was very competitive. It was a, it was a community built out of competitiveness, and now it's moved more to a family. I mean, it's evolved into a family that we have where we're doing all these things. People are contributing these articles, these videos. So it's like not built off that competitive nature, it's built off, hey, you know, we love this, let's, uh, let's hang out, let's talk, let's all do this together. And we have game nights outside of Halo, we play poker nights on Xbox Live Arcade. So I mean, it's just really amazing to go from that like competitive nature of group ball to have it something so much better to do a family, to a community. Yeah, and I think that RTX is a great example of that because the very first group ball panel ever was at PAX 2009 and you were wearing your tie-dye shirt at the time, as you recall that. And it was just a it little... It was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, now, that same small little panel, we had Bernie on there, and it was just a little side thing that we did, and now, you know, our Rooster Team has its own thing, and the Rooster Team has grown so much, and the uh, Red Ball community really has as well. And what, you know, brought us, us up here and talk, I'm just curious if you guys have any questions that you would like to kind of throw at us first and, and foremost. So there's a, a microphone up there. Um, but if you want to hold us to the end, whatever you guys would rather do, I'd rather sit here and answer questions all day than hear myself talk. Um, but if not, we also do have some Twitter questions. So please don't forget the Twitter questions. You know, somebody wants to ask them. Please. Yeah, well, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, there's a mic up there. Go up there, ask questions. Don't be shy. We don't want that hard. Hey, whatever. Is the guy on the right your dad or what? I'm sorry? The guy on the right, is that your father? What? My <laughs> right? Yeah. Yo, yo. Caleb is not my daddy. I will say that definitively. I'll never say otherwise. Yes, um, please. Whatever happened to Griffball.com? Uh, this is why you're on the panel. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, basically, what happened, just at Receipt, we had a lot of projects going on. And um, we felt that we weren't really able to give enough attention to the site itself. So, right now, it's kind of on a hiatus as we kind of get geared back, get situated, and hopefully, you'll be seeing something in the future with it. 
So you think it's going to go? It could, it, there's a lot of different things that happen. Well, one of the things being kicked around right now is having .com redirect to Griffball Hub, which is the site that Belt we run, uh, mostly because when Bernie wanted to entrust somebody to take care of the playlist, he came to us. And he was like, hey, you know, you guys make Griffball maps still. Yeah. Um, so every single map that you see in matchmaking, it comes through our forums, it comes through the Griffball community in general, but it's all funneled through our forums, and all, all of our moderators and stuff look at them for all the... Uh, all the really picky stuff. So um, if .com does end up redirecting to the hub, that's something that also might possibly happen as well. Oh, that's cool. Probably just one of the most likely scenarios there. Yeah. And who says no to Bernie? Uh, John yeah. Maybe Kilo. No, I like my John. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's the most unbelievable thing you saw while you're playing football? Like something made you go, what the hell happened? Oh, oh boy. Um, you, you want me to? I've been playing this for a while. I need to think for a second. All right, Tex has a story. He shared it on the hub oh. before. All right, so this is we have a group called podcast we do every week, and um, I shared a very embarrassing story, and I apologize everyone because it is embarrassing and quite graphic. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, Kyle's laughing. Um, we were in the playoffs in our league, and I was sick with, well, I'll just say, a stomach flu. And uh, I couldn't really stay out of the, the, the men's room very often. And we had to play the playoff game, and there was no sub, and I had to play, so I played on a bucket. That was the first moment of my life. But did you win? We won. It was a war. Keep this going, so I'm gonna shut up. Alright, so, okay, um, most of these, what do you have one yet? No, but I can say that I'm, the craziest thing that I'm glad I didn't see was that last one. Yeah. <laughs> True that. Um, I mean, off the court, it was probably when Reach launched and we launched the Grip Ball Evolve video, which got on the front page of Joystick, which, for you know, a little site like us, this was a really huge, huge deal. Um, our hits went through the roof, it crashed our servers, it was all sorts of fun. Um, on the court, we played um, my team, the Ways and Means Committee, played against. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that is. <laughs> it, is, it is probably the longest running team in, in the league, and it's also one of the worst. So, uh. Um, Historically, yeah, yeah. Historically, yeah. Um, we make up with our smile. Um, we're very happy. But no, we were playing in the Pro League when we were in the playoffs, and we played against Red Ray, which was. Um, in the Pro League, that was like the best of the best. It was like the top eight ish team. And there was Red Ray, which was. I thought you were saying Red Ray. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, 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 Red Ray, not Red Ray. And what happened is that we were both winless because this was a pro league, this was the elite tier. Um, and so, literally, the battle for who was the worst of the worst and the best. Um, and we actually ended up winning. And I think. So, who's the worst? Yes, we were second worst. Oh, we did not end last in the pro league. And that, I will never, ever forget that because that was. I mean, we, we went, you know, one and nine, but that one, that doesn't matter. That's what counted. So I, I kind of had three quick things that were really early on in the ball. Um, the first one was when Knockyard forced the first true wall. Run Knockyard Run is kind of the guy who makes a lot of the maps you see, specifically in Halo 3, a lot of reach, and he kind of does all that and makes basically... It's like key Forge guy. Yeah. yeah, he's brilliant. But he made actually really the first true wall in ball. And I remember like going into this game, being so used to it. Part of my strategy was actually going over the wall that didn't exist. Cheater. Right? And so that was kind of cool to first see. Like, that was one of the bigger steps, aside from switching from shotguns to hammers. That was probably one of the biggest steps. That was really big to the game, because now we still have the same size core, the same walls. No holes now. I don't have holes. And if you've asked a question, please feel free to come up here and either get a wristband. We also have some lovely avatar codes. Away. So if you ask a question, please feel free to come up and get one. Yeah. If you ask a question, yeah, if you ask one, please, please come up. And then um, another moment was probably the first time I saw what is called flowers. It's a playing ball, where essentially, it's usually at the start of each round, you run forward, you do a hammer jump, so it's a trigger A, and pick up the bomb, and you fly all the way over and land on the bomb land. So you can actually score within about five seconds. And the first time I saw this, I was just like, 
<laughs> it's probably a lot like y'all, for those who have seen the barrel roll, y'all know what the barrel roll is? Do a barrel roll. Do that. Yeah. It's, like, it's probably a lot like that, because like for him, grip ball wasn't I mean, established really yet, so it's, you see something that's mind-blowing, it's like, whoa, you just broke the game, dude. Yeah. Are <laughs> you a hackster? That was probably the first time that like a true like trick or play was developed in the sport. It's totally a sport, by the way. Yeah. You can tell your friends that you play a sport. Well, it's chess is a sport. Right? It's more action. Um, speaking of, of things that are awesome and unforgettable, let's talk about the grip ball tournament that we had this morning, which was <laughs> awesome. Uh, that was something that we've never done before, unless I haven't. Got to it. it was awesome and fun. So shout out to the winners, puppies and kittens who squared off against tough teddy bears. <laughs> it was a fun right match. Yeah, these Sit guys up. are awesome. No, they're good. Sit up. Ready to Get the camera cats, play with them, seriously, they were good. Alright, next question. Alright, um, I just want to ask, are you guys going to make, uh, is Grip Ball going to be incorporated in the next game of Halo 4? And if so, what's the league involved? Alright, I got this. Grip Ball will more or less be possible in Halo 4. And you can quote Frank on that. I think you'd be a St. Joel Frank. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> um, we don't know. We haven't been told anything, yes or no. Uh, we've been told by Josh Holmes that there are, quote unquote, a lot of Rickball fans, unquote, at 343. And Frankie did say in a weekly update that uh, it will be more or less possible. What we're thinking is going to happen is much like what happened in Reach, where they uh, there's not a Rickball fans that launch but they gave us the tools and we will build it from scratch and then we will submit them a playlist and hopefully we'll have one up and running within a few months of the release of Halo 4. The community involvement is that since the hub has already set up the structure um, for mass submission and we already have all the great details, which uh, we'll actually show you later, um, on how to submit a map, uh, since we have that, you know, that's, that's how we're gonna go forward. We're gonna keep taking community submissions because that's the most important thing to us. How many maps? I mean, was it? We're currently over 327 left. 327 maps on Halo Reach. Halo Reach, so that won't even matter anymore. Yeah, so, yeah that's how many yeah. maps. And we have basically one guy, and like, like she said, we'll be talking about showing something from him later, uh, Nuclear Target 42. He goes through every map and yeah. checks everything and tries to break your map. And then when he finds something wrong, he sends it back to the person and says, fix this, this, and this and then they get back and they try to break again. So it's a tedious process, and for him to go through that, maybe it's a big shout out, you know? But yeah. you can get your maps into the awesome. matchmaking that way. All right, next question. Do you prefer having classic grip ball or having it with armor abilities? Classic. Classic. Dash. Yeah! Uh, yeah. Grip ball dash. The middle grip ball. Halo 3? Yeah, Halo 3? Oh, wait, wait, are we yeah. talking Halo Reach? Halo, Halo Reach? Hey, Halo 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 Reach. Way, come up. Hey, brother, come on back. What is Halo 3? Uh, absolutely, Halo 3. Oh, um, but if it's in Reach, you definitely dash. Just remember, you ask a question, come on up. Yeah, if you, you want to come up, buddy. Sam, come on. Why can't you just play um, Rip Ball Halo 3? I mean, you, you can. You I still haven't seen it in matchmaking. Um, they they don't do updates to the ma 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 yeah they're not running the playlist so, anymore. But um, we run a group ball hub every once in a while, custom game nights where we'll have our community play, and we you know get people together and play like that. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, I mean this it was a very fun playlist in group with Halo Three, but um, it's just they just don't support. I mean, you know, due to hands being passed over to different companies and stuff, it's just not feasible with them focusing on Halo Four to kind of take care of. You know, Halo 3, so but that's probably why it's not updated anymore, I assume. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, we do custom game nights. If you want to, you know, play with just funds and walls, check out ripballhub.com and, you know, we'll get you hooked up and get you into custom game night. Back on Halo Waypoint, there used to be a Grip Ball series created by Rooster Teeth. Is there any chance that that could come back, or is it dead? Uh, so you're talking about like Grip Ball expansion and zero tolerance? Yes. That, you're at the wrong panel to ask. Um, <laughs> while we provide all of the grip ball stuff, that kind of stuff is purely Rooster Teeth's creation. We really have no part in it whatsoever. Um, grip ball is incredibly popular. I mean, the fact that they're, they created this ball, they've been, I'm sorry, ball. They've created this ball, they've been working on it for like five years. Oh, I guess, well, yeah, about that. To, to get it created. Um, so, and the, the new uh, carrier bag, and they've got the t-shirts, and so they really do care about grip ball, so I would be surprised if they did another series, but I don't, I mean, they don't consult with us, unfortunately. Wish they did, call me. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, there's other Mishimas on Dow. There's not Grippo because we have uh, a Mishima um, from Nuclear Taco and a few of our Grippo members called Renegades. Come on, man. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff that's out there. Like the Grippo Lego stop machine. That's cool stuff. Yeah. Awesome. So definitely should check that out. All right, next question. Do the three of you consider yourselves good at Grippo? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, well, Halo 3, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> statistically speaking, the best hybrid that would deliver on Halo 3. Just saying, statistically. Statistically, um, I, I don't have anything to back up my stats except for the negative kill death ratio. Uh, I was at one time a uh, top 25 tank in the leagues with my kill death. Uh, Dex, today you were a champion. That's it, I'm a champion, bro. I mean, I, I won tank my weed championship. He carried me. I mean, I think it depends. If, you know, I go into matchmaking, I am a goddess. Um, but if I go into, like, EGLA, which is our competitive football league, then I'm just a scrub. So, um, I tend to play matchmaking. Uh, so I can go to goddess. I mean, and honestly, we, we play football so much now. And if we don't, we don't play, like, put on try hard pants. So it's, uh, it's not that practice. We're not practiced up. So. Yeah, we don't, it's not that we're not good. It's just that we just want to Yeah, we're rusty. Yeah. We're, we're just rusty, that's what it is. We're yeah. adults. Come on up there. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Would you like a present? Oh. Would, would you? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You want questions? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, will you guys be having the new armor abilities in Halo 4 in Bristol? Dear God, we hope so. Oh, just for clarification, we do not know anything about Halo 4, um, basically, except that it's going to be awesome. Man. That was BS. I, 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 endorse, I endorse that statement. I think that Halo 4 will be awesome. But uh, we are not privy to any of that information, so we, we're not going to be able to answer any questions about Halo 4, except that it will be awesome. So uh, that's your question. And one thing that we want to do is get our hands on the demo out there and try the pressure packs, um, because they took away a vein, which is obviously what we use in Brickball Dash. Um, but when Grip Ball and Reach came out, we had a version called Loaded Grip Ball, which had um, active camo, it had sprint, it had hologram, and it also had the barrel or the, uh, the evade in it. So be assured that we will go through and we're going to test everything. So if it works, you're, you're definitely going to see it. If it's just not good for the gameplay, then we won't include it. Like the hologram, only one person liked the hologram, and we all I, I did. I hated it. I loved it. I hated it. When Halo Reach came out, uh, the first night I was on there trying to go with Taco, trying to get Grip Ball to work. Basically, hey, let's get a working something so we can tweak it. I mean, up in the, how long has Halo Reach been out now? Two, 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 years. two years. And just up until like seven months ago, we were still tweaking little things. It's, it's, it's an organic playlist, and uh, we're, we're constantly trying to bring the best form of Grip Ball. So, and we'll, if you make a play, with, if you make a game time and you think it's awesome, send it to us. Yeah, we'll, take, we'll definitely take a look at it. We're, we're all I mean, about that. How many you know about hand egg? Anybody? See, you know, we we like to incorporate stuff like that in the grip ball this. So I mean, we're also stuff and seeing off the wall ones if if people love it. I thank you. Would there be advancements to grip ball to make it harder or more fun? Well, it, wait, 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 it's not fun enough already. <laughs> it's <laughs> perfection. I, mean, I think it depends on the tools that we're given for Halo 4. Um, you know, getting to see in the 343 panel today about the, the, what they call it, the trait zone, the player trait zone. I mean, I think we're going to see the return of aerial grip ball, which is one in Halo 3 when you can like super bouncy and you can like fall over the place. Um, we'll, we'll definitely try and innovate and be as creative as we can, but we can't really make any determinations until, one, we know there's a hammer, because we don't know that yet. Um, and two, just the, the tools that we're given. And again, if you've got an idea, please feel free to shoot it out. We're, we're all open to it, because we're just as new to the game as you are. Okay. Uh, Alright, so this kind of goes back to Halo 3. Do you remember when they had the rip ball with a little slanted mask going down? Two the Yeah. Okay. Do y'all think y'all like have any like custom maps coming up for Halo 4 or anything in the future, something like that? Again, I'm always gonna be as creative as you can. One of my favorite maps in Reach is Concave. It's the map that's a half pipe, um, which is really original and really creative. Um, one of the toughest parts about making maps is that Forge is so limited. I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong, but everything is a gray sweater. And the fun ones aren't, they don't work with the frame rate, frame freeze. Um, so, we're going to be as innovative as we can, and we're really going to delve into all the tools that we're given. And I know that's kind of, you know, kind of an answer, but that, that's really all we know at the moment. Don't worry. All right, and this one kind of goes like earlier. We was like talking about the tight shirt and sexy and stuff. I was wondering if you would get up and do this dance. I call it the sexy dance. 
Sorry. Wait, who do you want to get into the sex dance? <laughs> oh, it's just the water park. Yes, alright! Y'all can all come on. Who are you? Alright, let's do it. Alright, so the sex dance goes like this. You clap your hands, you bring it down, go like this, and then you do this. Just I'll do my sexy dance. I, I don't know if I can do that. Though. <laughs> 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 we had to go there. I can't do it. I'm not that limber. Dance. Yes, sir. I was just wondering, um, is there going to be any end game references of Critical and Halo 4? Like, like in the game or something? Or in the book or something? If they do, they are super secret and they haven't told us yet. I think that's something that they would work with with Rooster Teeth since Griffball is property of Rooster Teeth. Um, although Caleb works for our team, you know, since we're on the hub, we're not really privy to that. And, but, I mean, do you know of any super secret things that you're willing to drop now? No. It's yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't know that you're willing to drop. No. Okay. <laughs> One more question. Um, sure. Um, have you tried Griffball in Zero Gravity environment? It's um, the, the the only um, map that has the really low gravity, is, or the two maps, the ones the outside. I forgot the name of it. Where you where you go outside the the wall of anchor, anchor nine, and then the one above. The thing is, those aren't really forgeable, so you can't put uh, the the bomb plants and stuff like that on there. You can't really have gravity. I, I've tried. I wanted to, but unfortunately, we've reached a lot of maps that are limited to your resources. So we haven't been able to do that because we can't affect gravity. But as you found out today, you'll be able to affect gravity in Halo 4. In Halo 4. Yeah. So that's a possible a possibility in the future. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, having uh, Grip Ball in the Halo Reach matchmaking, that's a great accomplishment. But do you have any regrets about having it in pure matchmaking, things like stat padding? I think you mentioned it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I have a good time for this. That's, oh. a, that's a good, good question, sir. It is. That's a great question. I mean, obviously, stat padding is not a nice thing um, because you know it, it takes the fun away from the other team. And Rick Ball is all about fun. That's why it was created. It was just kids' friends were screwing around with each other and having a good time. Um, so when you stat pad, that's obviously a bad thing. But you know, it was the same thing in Halo 3. You had people who would bridge for host. You had people who would flood your IP. You had people who would cheat, who would load in, you know, guest players and just beat the crap out of them. So there's there's always some aspect of that in the game. And I think, hopefully with Halo 4, the credit system will be more conducive to not being a douchebag. Because, you know, for, for anybody um, who might know me, I'm studying clinical psychology, I'm getting my doctorate, so I'm very familiar with the idea of reinforcement. And if you tell gamers, hey, I'm going to give you more credits if you break the rules of the game, guess what gamers are going to do? They're going to break the rules because they want more credits, because gamers are very driven, they're very goal-oriented. So if you make the goal compatible with the game type, like plant the grip ball and get so many points, win the game like in Halo 3 and get you know the credit, um, I think that's definitely going to help with things like stat padding. I mean, and we also said so many times, we were like, well, you know, killing isn't anything bad, it's not stat padding. If you pay attention to the screen, when the game first starts up, it says, plant the bomb. That's the end of the game. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that, that's a response to that. It's unfortunate. It, like she said, it takes the fun away from the game. I mean, I don't like it when a super host is stat I me. Mean, it's not fun. I've been around a long time, so sometimes it makes me reach quit, but you know what I mean? It's nothing that can be controlled, really. You can't go in there and say, no, you know what I mean? Just have to smile and be like, oh, good game, move on, you know? Yeah. Better, game, better game is kind of too good health that. Yeah. Better reinforcement is fun. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm a very casual player, and actually I'm not very good. So my question is, what's the best way to get involved and to be able to get better at playing your ball? <laughs> we, we have so many mentors at Grip Ball Hub. I mean, we have people that come in and take people under their wing and train them. Uh, no Plex, Mankin, or two people in a hard community that's taken so many new people under their wing. Like, hey, you know, just give me tips, positive reinforcement, playing. Playing with a good group of people really will, will take you a long way. Because you can watch and learn. You can hear them, like, what they're doing. Um, I mean, that's that as we're all veterans here, that's what would be my one recommendation. It's you know, get involved in our, our community and just join up on play nights. You know, get friends with people that have played Griff Ball and you can just learn a lot. Yeah, and one of the worst things, like I won't go into matchmaking alone. I just I won't do it. I love Griff Ball, but if I don't have a team of least three, I won't go into matchmaking. Because I know exactly it's so frustrating you can't rely on anybody. 
So really the best thing you can do is you can find a site, so there's scriptball.info, which is a competitive link, there's Scriptball Hub, we're more the recreational link, um, and just find people to play with, so find someone to kind of take you under their wing. We actually have the welcome wagon, which is a new thing that we have on the hub, and you just post there and you've got like 30 people going, oh, you know, I, you know, send me an invite, here's my gamer tag, and they're, they're just really willing to share, um, because Scriptball is such a community-driven thing. I mean, it's, it's entirely made and maintained by the community. Nobody gets paid to do this. You don't count. <laughs> uh, but I hope that answers your question. I should have worn tie dye shirt. Hi. Um, I was wondering, like, what, what would you do if, like, like, like if you're be looking at this, is there a major change that would affect your phone? I would cry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, what kind of major change are we talking about? Like, you know, there's going to be Godzilla running around the court? I don't know. That'd be awesome. Have to avoid Godzilla as a runner? Come on. I, I think what would happen, though, is just we have all this community and as a game type. Um, everyone that's part of the theater ball community since forever is really about just hanging out and playing. And if there's going to be a change to the game type, and it may be drastic, I think people will still stick with it and try to find what works for them. So, it'll live on. I agree. Um, so, I know that Griffal is named after Griff, but how did they decide to name it after It was honestly completely random. Um, what happened was, it was just a line in the show originally, and there's actually, when it was made, not meant to be a sport by any means, but when Bernie was fiddling around with it, it just kind of came up that you could change the color of the ball runner, and it just happened to be orange. And then it just kind of, all the pieces fell into place. So it was actually one giant accident. And it was, they were doing, uh, Richard Keith was doing a video for Bungie to demo the Foundry map pack. I forgot the name of the map pack, say so video me. But they were doing, they were forging that, and that's where it came from. I mean, the, the line of the show had been already been there, but they're like, oh. Well, let's try to make this, I guess, right? I've heard Bernie tell that story when he for all panels. Yeah. And Griff Sauce. Griff Sauce are awesome. Terrible person. Only time. Uh, what's the best way to join a league? And how uh, have you guys thought about changing the dimensions of the field at all? Like uh, maybe having a custom wall field or wide or something? I don't know. Well, to join a league, uh, currently the American Griffball League of America, which is on griffball.info, uh, they are doing sign-ups for their league right now. Um, sign-ups close this weekend, I believe. So that's one way to, to join a league, like right now, and start playing. Um, otherwise, you know, like Griffball Hub, we have the community, you can get to know people, you can make friends, you, you know, you create a team, and then, you know, you can either get brought onto the team in the league, because um, they need another player, or, you know, you can wait until next season. But again, the HLA is going on now, so you, you can possibly do that. Um, as far as the feel, um, we do have two different dimensions. We have the bloody grip ball court, which is the vanilla size, and then we have the dash court, which is bigger to accommodate the armor abilities. Um, then we have the, the triangle one as well for the... Uh, for Blark, the diamond <coughs> court for Blark ball. Yeah, Blark Yeah, so yeah, we, we have played with them a little bit, um, but again, it's Run Dr. Run, who is the god of forging, and he says, this is how it will be, and therefore it is. And we also had two V2 grip ball courts that were yeah. slimmer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I mean, we, we, we played with it and played, um, as she said, nine guards, put down the foot. And what goes into matchmaking as for, of right now? Yeah, what would you guys like to see for grip ball in the future? Ooh. Get paid? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, MLG grip ball? I mean, uh, I mean, could just continue growing at the rate it was. Uh, I came on grip ball uh, when it was eight people. I don't know how many members do we have? Uh, yeah. We have over 2,000 registered. Regist 2,000 registered members. I mean, and they're like, all active, so it just continuing growing as a community would be pretty amazing to me. If I could be here four years from now and something, and it's 10,000 people, 15,000 people, that'd probably be the greatest because I have so many memories from being in grip ball that are just absolutely amazing. You can tell oh. he's not the community manager who would have to deal with these 10,000 people. <laughs> no, I'm just the drone fat guy. Oh, well, um, I, well, this for me I want launching back. I mean, I know we saw a couple launches, but they're just so unpredictable. Like, even us veterans have a hard time pulling them off. Where in Halo 3, you have people flying all over the place, and you, you know, get undershots and overshots and overshots, you know, just, I would love to have that back because I miss that. That's what I kind of grew up on. And so in the future, I hope the physics allow for us to really just literally launch ourselves across the court. And uh, for me, like I was just saying, we continue to grow the community. I mean, throughout time, it's basically went from 
just something you can play with your friends. If you just happen to know people who want to play their ball, you can organize custom games to becoming a you know WXP playlist in Halo 3, to in Halo 3 becoming a regular playlist you can play every day. I just want to kind of see that continue and to grow that way. So more people, easier access. More group ball. Also, I'd like to be a blark, but that's impossible. So yeah, we're gonna see that. Yeah, I'm just being a blark. Uh, blark is you know covenant leads for those that don't know blark. They're all different. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do you think that Griff Ball could, uh, in the future, become an Xbox Live Arcade game or a retail release? <laughs> we hope. Yes. <laughs> One, two. We have had many, many uh, box cover arts made in like the style of Madden, but it has the Griff Ball guy sniffing. Um, I think it. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think it would be awesome if it was like an Xbox Live Arcade game. I think that'd be wonderful if it literally made that huge evolution from a joke to an actual game. Um, I just I don't know if anybody uh, wants to make it. So oh. I think I think they're happy that we make it and it's free labor. Mm -hmm. um, they don't actually have, they can make money on it. So I don't know. I think if it happened, it would be it would be great, like a Monday Night Combat kind of thing. Uh, but again, I would seriously want them to consult people like us um, to make sure that it's done correctly and properly and that they don't screw it up. I agree with all that, but on the flip side, I do enjoy being part of the Halo community. Yeah, it's a great community to be part of. So I'm really happy with that, and I'm happy with the direction it looks like Halo is going. So I'm I'm fine with it. It would be awesome, and we've talked about it so many times on our podcast. But it's okay where it is for now. I mean, it's great. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, I'm not sure how hands-on you guys are with like the QA for the maps and such, but. I'm wondering if you have any stories or anything like what would you say was one of the most difficult uh, bugs or, or like exploits that you guys had to find a way around for some of the maps? Like obviously the stuff like getting over walls or some of the stuff where people could like ride the ride the side of everything, you know, which I guess still happens to that. I remember we had worked it out to where um, in a version of vanilla where only the runner had sprint. And and the, the tanks could roll or sprint, but the runner could only use sprint. We thought this was awesome because everybody can have an armor belly, but only the, the runner can sprint. That that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. And then we discovered that you could do um, I don't even know what you call it. But basically, it was a barrel roll, but because of the speed that you had to be set up for AA, you would slam into a wall and die. Or <laughs> or you could cross the entire court from goal to goal, like literally just from plant to plant and score like that. So realizing that we had to separate vanilla and dash was something really, really hard for us to overcome because there are people in the community who were like, no, it should be sprint only, and no, it should be evade only, and no, it should be any other abilities. So just overcoming everybody's opinions, I guess overcoming is a bad word, but taking into account everybody's opinions and trying to find what works for, for the most people. I don't know talk of like rolling over his career. Like, he's just great, great against teams, but um, two things uh, like that. I and mean, Taco would say people not following the simple instructions of what the map which is supposed to be, but that's not really a bug. Uh, the problem, the biggest thing was uh, making the right bomb. Uh, so it was really difficult. to had a long time of that, um, figuring that out to be good for grip ballers. Yeah. We, 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 yeah. we had, used to have a huge bomb plant and that made everyone rage because you know you can get those awesome stops. So it was, it was just something like that. And the maps sent in when they went zero fighting. Oh, people, Z fighting. People put in amazing maps that we can't use because uh, it's not clean. And then we never get back. Thank you. Um, do y'all think y'all ever incorporate vehicles into grip ball? Like if y'all double the size of the map, maybe grip zombies. Yes, there, there's a game type that's called Griff Goose, where basically instead of a plant, you have an end zone in the back, and there's monkeys on the score. And the, the person holding the bomb can drive the mongoose, or you can be a passenger. So that's one variation. The problem with it is that it cannot be in the Griff Ball playlist, because the Griff Ball playlist has a strict no vehicle thing with it. Um, I don't know the technical term, but Waypoint basically said you cannot have, the, the way the server's set up for Griff Ball is you cannot have vehicles on it. There is Griff Cruise, there's also a game type called Banshee Ball, which we'll be playing uh, tomorrow during our free play from 11 to 12 on the, the arena stage. And it's exactly what it sounds like, it is Griff Ball with Banshees. Um, so we, we've done that a little bit, but again, it's, it's, they're fun and customs, but we, we just physically cannot put them in matchmaking. Uh, 
although they can be put in matchmaking for ranking up purchases, do you think there would be like a second playlist as in a community term where it would incorporate the vehicles? I know we've been trying to get a group who's into action stuff because I think it would do okay there. Um, and if there's, a, I'm sure there'll be something like that in Eagle 4. So um, if it were to go into matchmaking, that's exactly where it would go. You're right. Uh, my opinion on grip ball is obvious and learned on standing in, but I'm curious. Uh, do you guys ever fear that the idea of grip ball is going to go stale amongst the players? I think that's why we try to keep it as fresh as we do. Um, by having all these options that we do, I mean, there's Dash, there's Vanilla, there's Blar, there's Jetpack, there's Handig, and again, you know, we try to, to do a lot to engage the community. You know, sometimes we have what we call shooting Halo Knights, where we put down our hammers and we pick up guns, and it's hysterical because none of us know what we're doing. We call shooting Halo. Yeah, that, that, that's a technical term. <laughs> shooting Halo. Um, so I, I think, as far as the group community goes, you know, the people who are on the forums, it's all about keeping it fresh from a community perspective for them. You know, if people want to step up and do mod work, let them. If people want to make group ball ponies, absolutely. You know, let them encourage that, foster that kind of creativity, and then people don't get bored. Um, as far as the matchmaking in general, um, I mean, group ball has dropped. Like when I said it started, it had about 10,000 people in it, and right now it's probably about 1,200. Um, so interest has definitely dropped off, but it, it's still one of the largest playlists in, in reach. And, and as long as you guys keep playing, we'll, we'll keep making it. But you do have intentions to evolve Grip Ball in the near and far future. Yes, yes. Always keeping it fresh because you, you, you get a whole new set of physics. And you know, the, the same thing that works in Halo 3 didn't work in Reach. And what works in Reach might not work in Halo 4. So it's all about adjusting the game to the physics to get you the best possible experience that we can. I mean, like I said it earlier, it's an organic playlist. So when we started out, we just had Vanilla Grip Ball, which is the one without the, the arm abilities, and then we got the one with arm abilities, and we incorporated the Lark Ball. So I mean, we've been continually updating. I, I believe actually HBO Kepler every month, pretty much since I said the updates. So we, we put new maps, which I know that might not be the best, uh, you know, might not notice it, but I mean, there are continual updates to it. And when we find someone that has a great game type that can be put in the Grip Ball playlist, we give it a serious look over, you know, for consideration and stuff like that. So we're always trying to bring in more Grip Ball, because it's something we love and we do understand. Vanilla Purple every day might be a tad boring. Yeah. Did you play Dash? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, have you guys ever thought about like taking weapons out of Purple and just making it melee? Um, it, it's melee to me, swords and hammers. <laughs> we actually have a version we call Bomb Ball. Oh, yeah. And it, it's just an honor <laughs> roll where instead of using the heavy part of the hammer, you just run around and bomb people with it, with the butt end. Um, and you have to crouch at the same time, so you have little crabs smacking each other. Longest games <laughs> ever. <laughs> have you ever crouched, walked across the court, yeah. and then danced oh, oh, crouching? Yeah. It's, it's, it's intense. <laughs> so much action. I, mean, I think one of the things for Grip Ball is that the sword and the hammer, those are our trademarks. You know, that and the bomb and, or and Grip being orange. I think if you took those away, it, it would be something else. It just, it wouldn't be Grip Ball. I mean, I've been putting custom lobbies where they had these rockets and pistols. And I was like, they didn't tell me. This is a Frankie, apparently, but, uh, but uh, I mean, so it, 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 Hammer and Sword is where it's at, pretty much for us. I mean, and we haven't heard too much from the game about the way that's changed, and I, I don't think that happened, but, you know. Um, if there is no bracket hammer in Halo 4, what do you think you'll use instead? The supersonic forerunner baseball bat. <laughs> Breaking news, isn't it? No, um, you know, when, when uh, Frank O'Connor says stuff like, Griffo will be more or less possible, and it gives us hope there's something there. Like, the, the gravity hammer may not even be in gameplay, but it will most likely be in a sandbox, or, or something that's a stick form that we can swing that will cause gravity ripples. Um, so, you know, we're not switching to the scatter shot. Um, but so, tears, if it's not there too. Yeah. So I think the answer just is that if it's not a gravity hammer proper, there's going to be something that we can use, maybe a golf club, you know, something like that that we can use to make sure that we, we do keep that game tag going. I mean, and, and if there's nothing like a hammer, we'll try to make a way where for swords only. I mean, we, got, we, we only can work with what we're getting, so we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering, with the uh, 
And um, Halo Reach coming up. Are there any other plans to implement any more maps or anything? Um, for Dirtball? For Dirtball? Um, I know we just did an update. Um, we added, I think, three or four new maps into the playlist. And I think we introduced hand in Is that the last one? Or maybe the one Twice before? I think it was two before we introduced hand in into the playlist as well. I think we have one more update before uh, the Halo 4 goes live. So we may be able to get in a, a new set of maps. Um, and I don't think I can take Banshee Ball, so I probably not need game type. But definitely um, before some new maps will hopefully come pretty soon. So when you guys aren't playing Brick Ball, uh, what are some other uh, playlists that you enjoy? There's other playlists? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there? Oh, I think you're playing Shooty Halo. Oh, Shooty Halo. Um, I'm thinking about Brick Ball. Yeah. <laughs> I sit in the corner. Um, I live for the hammer. Yes, yes, um, no matter what we're playing. Big Team Battle for me, I really do enjoy that. Getting all my friends on and, and Capturing the flag assault is tons of fun because when I get to be in a base, I go into grip ball mode. I've got the bomb, and I'm like, yeah, run at me, bro, come on. And then we just like five, six stiff arms, and then you plant it. Uh, so for that, that's what I do. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, what oh. oh, I'm sorry. I like action set because uh, I, I like just having fun, kind of like, you know, lax gaming. I used to play SWAT a lot. Um, I like SWAT. Oh, yeah. And now I'm hoping that they'll be close to Halo 3 SWAT in Halo 4. I'm hoping. And custom games. Yeah. Custom games. Custom games. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Hey, first I'd like to apologize for Nashville's yeah. girl earlier. For what? <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, oh Nashville's girl. girl. I, I kind of been hey, insulted hey, hey. by that. She, she, you, yeah. should, you should be talking. Yeah, but I'd be my frail girl if I was a girl. Okay, all right. Carry on. Go uh, on. We've all seen, well, most of us have seen Great Ball go from joke to concept to a game type to playlist in Halo 3 and then you know put in Halo Reach. Do you ever consider actually going to a whole different like not necessarily Rift Ball but a different game itself like like basically they're together like church ball. Are you talking about hot ball? What's hot ball? Okay someone just listened to the podcast, the Rooster Team podcast, because apparently in Star Wars uh Sweater they came out with Hut Ball. Which is scarily like Rift Ball, where you have some kind of bomb that you have to plant in the enemy, and they have like lightsabers to chop you down. That um, sounds like a lot of fun, by the way. So, I mean, as far as, honestly, no, because I play Halo, and I love Halo, and I live in Halo, and I don't really go anywhere else. Um, and it would, just, it would be too much work. Uh, Charles HD, Rift Ball? <laughs> 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 I don't think yes, it's just not going to work with the mechanics, at least I'm not. Uh, there's not a mini games that are out like Halo where you can create so much, so much customization they can do for maps and game types to be able to make that happen really on 360 leaves. Alright, so I just want to let you know that the little dude who just came into the line for questions, you are the last one. You hold that line, okay? You are it. No one shall pass. Okay. Alright, well, we saw the tweet on there about the person playing with Ripball with the paper and the brooms. Yeah. Do you have any stories about playing Ripball in your life or have you ever done it yourself? On the Taco Challenge at Pax uh, Prime that we did. Um, I demoed it all. You did. He did. I didn't watch it. Yeah, I, I demoed everything. You want to see a fat guy fly through there? You watch that video. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Well, I mean, Kayla plays Frisbee. That's kind of like Ripball. Yeah, totally the same thing. Anybody play Field Hockey? Yeah, that, that's pretty close to Ripball, except you don't die. Yeah, I think, I think once we get the respawning thing figured out, then we're all Yeah, you know, it's going to be crazy when that happens. Uh, two years. We just found that new park, but we're right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm on an AGI team. I just wanted to run my team name by you. Sure. I'm not bad. <clears throat> we have any badgers left in Jazziness? Okay, I'm familiar with that team name. Yeah. Yeah. Really? This is my first game last night. You missed it? Yeah. Did they reschedule or did they play without you? They played without me. Losers! Winners, winners. Oh, yeah, we want you to play your games. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, go Honey Badgers. Yeah. So, yeah, we can give you a shout out on the podcast, I think. So, yeah. yeah. The honey Badgers are wild. I'm hungry for some honey, y'all. Yeah. Uh, and biscuits. Hi. Uh, 343 can be on and give you free rate to add anything that you can think of to put in your poll. What would you make? Godzilla. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, I've never actually thought about that. That's a good question. I'm very good answer. Okay, go ahead. I want dedicated servers so I can stop listening to people complain about posts. 
that would make me insanely, insanely happy and make our league run so much better when people are not complaining about connection issues or a host or lag or things like that. That would be that would be a godsend. Yeah, I could get along with Australians then. Oh my god, Australians. No, I mean, today was you know that's a good point. Today was the first time I played land or ball and it, it's a big difference. So yeah, that would, that would probably be a good case Yeah. Same. Same. Alright, so to kind of round it up for you guys, um, we did actually have a quick little machine for you. Um, we do get a lot of questions about how do I get my map into matchmaking. And so we have a quick little tutorial here that our uh, map maker, Nuclear Taco 42, put together. Um, and uh, thank you. <laughs> and it's just basically some do's and don'ts, and then we will give away this lovely, lovely last prayer ball, which I know you're all so here. Alright. So, you want to get your map into matchmaking, huh? Well, you're going to have to go through me first. No, seriously, I'm the map guy, but you probably already knew that. So, you want to make this process both smooth and painless for both of us, right? Right. Alright, so follow me as we show you the top five things you don't want to do while building a brick wall map. Kill walls. These are just a bad idea. They cause extreme amounts of frame rate lag, and they're very... deadly. <sighs> Water. Any amount of water on the map will cause frame rate lag. And if there's too much on the map, well, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. Man cannons. Just, no. Don't put these on your map, please. You don't need people in the middle of a match to go careening off the side of your map like this. Not a good idea. <laughs> Vehicles. Again, just don't. They use up resources that can end up leading to frame rate lag, and you don't want that. I mean, seriously, who thought it would be a good idea to have a rate? <laughs> obstructions. A clean, obstruction-free map is the way to go. Overhangs and things like that that extend onto the corner are just a bad idea. See? <laughs> and there you have it. Five major things you should never have on a grip fall map. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. See ya. frantic text that was several, several messages long about how I needed to include more things in the video and not uh, everything. Wait, wait, damn it. Um, just to let you know, it's uh, Nuclear Taco 42 on Xbox Live, so um, you know, just uh, send them hey, I liked your video, and then H2O Camper for the Highlight Friends. Check out the Highlight Friends, and seriously, be our friend, like Griff Wall and stuff. Those friends is pretty amazing on the other way going. Okay, well, if I can't get home, there we go. It's a map. You know what? Leave my map alone. It's all right? It's very This is my map. This is my map. I just got it. All right, like a month ago. All right, so the last talk of tips. If anybody is actually serious about making the map, please make sure your home packs respond every 30 seconds, and your bomb line range is 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. I asked the question, why are there three coordinates and there's only two directions? And I was told there are actually three directions. So six pedals when there's only four directions. Exactly. So, uh, I you have time for one question from Twitter, and Twitter asks, can you get brain damage from grip ball? I'm not gonna say but yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll be I'll beat my head a little many times after. I'll tell you. I love you, Australians, but I hate your host. It it makes me very angry face. Yeah, really good. I love you though, Australians. I love y'all. Y'all's accent's sexy, man. Keep it going. But uh, yeah, it, it can. All right. Well, uh, are we out of time? Fine. We still got five minutes. Okay, we have five minutes. So, if anybody has questions for? Oh wait, this. Yes, I forgot about this. Caleb, do you have a question for uh, people to fight for? Or are they gonna like do grip ball here? Oh, yeah, I have the question. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chris, I have a question. Right. Yes, you have a question, sir. Uh, I've never seen before. Is it wind stick or wind stick? Wind. No. Wind. No. Wind. W I N. Just that. Okay, wind. Uh, see, yeah, we're old. Who wants to answer your question? Uh, you answered. Okay, um, you answered it earlier, so I can't ask it. You talked about the ways we can make so. Okay, um, well, we can make up a new one. We'll see how good your memory is. What team won the RTX 2012 Red Ball Championship? Come up here and think of Or microphone? Uh, uh, microphone? Uh, 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 uh
my car? Like puppies and kids. Yes! Congratulations, you have a very good memory. Come on up and claim your first ball. It was good. Oh, no. Catch it. Catch it. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's, we have a few more minutes. I'm going to say that if you want to join the leagues, it is griffball.info, I-N-F-O. They're doing the league signups right now. Uh, it does end this week in the league, right? Yeah, they might have been signups, though. So you totally might good. not make it, but make sure you check out that site. You know, register that at griffballhub.com. We, we're uh, griffball staff, you know, we can definitely talk to you and get you to put in the right place and stuff like that. And uh, follow us on Twitter at griffballhub. Yes, uh, what are your Twitter handles real quick? Uh, mine is D T H E underscore Texorcist. T E A T E X O R C I S T. I am Goose Checka, so it is at Goose Checka. Both are Goose and Chuck and A, so Goose Checka. I'm at Caleb Kimbor, and it's C A L E B E N E C O U R. Good luck. And just to confuse you, I am Green Team Tex on Rooster Team, so y'all you, you can contact me on there too, or name us. I think you're Goose Checka, yeah, you're Caleb, I'm, so I'm Caleb on so, yeah, I mean, Rooster Team is a viable option as well, obviously. That's why we're here. So we hope to see you guys on the court with our matchmaking or in the leagues. And thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting us. Um, it really means a lot. And what? Uh, we have we have ladies with ladies Mel Arms. If there are any ladies in the house who would like to wear Mel Arms, ladies come up. Ladies come up. Ladies come up. Ladies come up. You know how a guy that wants to wear ladies? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's it for us. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.